I wasn't going to make a YouTube video today, but how could I not? My goodness, it is getting brutal out there. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article here, but just check out the headline, Gold Silver Punished by Strong USDX that Hits 20-Year High. So the US dollar index is uh, stronger than it has been in the last 20 years, which means that the dollar is like soaring. The dollar is super strong, super powerful, and basically everything else is moving down. The stock market's down, cryptos are down, and metals are down as well. Um, if we look at the chart for silver, this is the price over a one month period. So yeah, it's moving down considerably. I mean, could we go under $20 an ounce? Honestly, at this point, anything is possible. Uh, we don't have that far to go. I mean, silver moved down almost a dollar today and we have less than a dollar to go before we are in the teens as far as uh, silver spot price is concerned. So yeah, it's quite possible we could move that way. Um, I don't know, the rest of today, maybe tomorrow, who knows? Um, if we look at gold, gold is also moving much lower today. We're nearing $1,800 an ounce. And I mean, it's down $25 on the day. So yeah, both gold and silver moving lower. If we look at the ratio, uh, gold to silver ratio, we can see it's still moving up. So silver is going down faster than gold and um, silver just becoming a slightly better buy as compared to gold. Now, I did make a video just a few days ago talking about why silver and gold are going down right now. And if you want to check out that video, I'll put a link down below in the description. Um, yeah, feel free to check it out if you like. Obviously, the price of silver and the price of gold is slightly higher in that video as compared to today because I'm making this video today and we got another dip. Um, but in that video, I mentioned that you should be trying to buy precious metals on the dip. And so what I want to do is actually look at some items for sale that you could be buying right now because... In my opinion, it's a really good time to be buying gold and silver. So if you uh, go to sdbullion.com and check out their deals, there's two deals that are absolutely insane. And I actually did take advantage of this silver deal already, uh, but I might have to buy a few more of these 10 ounce bars. So they're only 319 over spot and it's any quantity pricing. This right here, $240 for 10 ounces of silver. This is like the best deal you can find online right now. I mean, I cannot find any better deals than this. And 10 ounce silver bars are an amazing thing to be stacking. So I'm probably gonna have to pick up some more of these. Um, I did go to my local coin shop just to see if they had anything in stock and they had nothing in stock. Literally no silver, no gold. They had some numismatics. They did have a few silver eagles. Um, so I guess not literally nothing, but they had probably 20 of them available and they were charging a $15 premium uh, for every Silver Eagle. So I'm actually curious uh, what SD Bullion is charging right now. I know the wholesalers are at like $13.75, I think, for Silver Eagles. This actually is a $14 premium. Yeah, I don't recommend stacking Eagles right now because that premium is just outrageous. I would not be paying this. But I will say, you know, if the wholesaler is charging $13.75 and SD Bullion is charging $14, it doesn't seem like they're really making that much money off of these. Uh, but I guess this is a sale. Um, anyway, if you wanted to pick up gold, obviously this is probably the best deal you're going to find. $18.80 for an ounce of gold. You know, it is a gold bar. I do prefer gold coins. And in fact, I'm kind of curious what their cheapest gold coin is right now. Um, that's not a numismatic. Maybe they don't even have any on sale. Let's just go over to gold. And it's probably going to be like a Britannia, um, maybe a Krugerrand. What do you think? Do you think the Britannia or the Krugerrand is cheaper? Let's look at the Britannia first and see what they're charging. So I guess you're looking at 1910 for one ounce Britannia. Okay, let's uh, check out. I think we can actually go to the Krugerrands here. Save us a little time. Is it going to be cheaper? Oh, it's cheaper for the Krugerrand. Look at that. Under 1900 bucks. Uh, for one ounce Krug. I do I do like the Krugs. I have one of these myself. I, I definitely need to get more. But uh, man, under $1,900 for an ounce of gold right now. That just seems crazy to me. Um, I, as far as like other silver that they have on sale, I mean, 
this is like the deal. I don't know why you wouldn't be just doing that deal right now. It's crazy. Um, you know, they have some other kind of numismatic stuff. They don't really have any crazy sales on silver right now. I suppose if you wanted to get silver coins, uh, let's take a look at the silver coins. And I guess we can um, we can see which one's cheaper. What do you think? Is it going to be the uh, maybe the kangaroo, maybe the Krugerrand, maybe the Britannia? I mean, maybe the Philharmonics, but I doubt it. Let's try, let's try the Britannias first and see what they are going for right now. Um, all right, so 2866. So you're looking at like a wow, an eight dollar premium basically on Britannias. Yeah, I, now is not the time to be buying um, to be buying coins. You got to go with the more generic stuff like the bars. But uh, let's just see here. Uh, what were the other ones we were gonna look at? Uh, the Krugerrand, they don't have those on here. I guess we can look at the Phillies. They don't even have any in stock. Yeah, let's go back to coins and look at the Kangaroos. See if they have any of those in stock. They do. And looks like the 2022s are the cheapest. Okay. Okay, so that's a much better deal than the Britannias. You're only looking at like a $6 premium, I guess, on the Ruse. And, uh, let's see. What was the last one we wanted to look at? I think it was the Krugs. And then I guess we could check silver rounds as well. Here we go. African silver coins. Let's see if they have any of these in stock. They do, and they're a little bit... Wow, they're about the same price as the Britannia. So I guess the Kangaroos are the cheapest right now for silver coins. I'm sure the Maples are higher. Um, and so there you go. Um, let's look at the silver rounds, I suppose. If you wanted to get one ounce silver rounds. You know, I would... <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't just buy the 10 ounce bars. I mean, you have to spend $200 for free shipping anyway. So, you know, those are as good as anything else. They got, uh, I think these are going to be the cheapest. Yeah, on the rounds, you're looking at, uh, what is that, 550 premium or something like that. All right, so it's basically no contest. Uh, if you wanted to buy silver online, this is pretty much the deal to get. Um, I, I'm assuming this is going to sell out at some point. Uh, I don't know when they're going to maybe later today or tomorrow take this down. Um, who knows? So take advantage of this uh, while you can. If I was going to be picking up silver today, this is what I would be getting. Now, I am curious uh, what your local coin shop is like. Are they also sold out? So feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Um, I know that there's a lot more coin shops in my area that I could be going to. So I suppose it's possible some of them still do have stuff in stock, but I'm kind of curious what they're doing with the premiums right now. I really, really doubt I could find anything cheaper than this. So uh, at least locally. Um, okay, well, we're going to end the video there. Um, I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.